Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 100. That is, what is print goal? Let me answer. Before understanding what is print goal, we need to understand that different projects follow different SDLC models for producing the software into the market. So there are different SDLC models that different projects follow like waterfall SDLC model, prototyping model, V model, spiral, iterative incremental, agile, rad and big bang. These are the different SDLC models that different projects will follow to produce and release the software into the market. While agile is one of these SDLC models, right? Agile is one of the SDLC models that projects may follow to produce the software into the market. Under agile SDLC model, we have different methodologies. You can also call them as frameworks, okay? Different methodologies or frameworks are under this Agile SDLC model. They are nothing but Scrum methodology, Kanban, Lean, Extreme Programming, Crystal, FDD, DSDM methodology, and there are other methodologies under Agile SDLC model. So out of all these methodologies, there is a methodology known as Scrum methodology. Okay, there is some methodology known as Scrum methodology, which is the popular in the market. So under this Scrum methodology, the development and testing, that is the work, Okay, for producing or building the software, the work that is done by the team, that is developers and testers to build the software, right, will be done in the form of sprints. Okay, the work will be done in the form of sprint. Sprint means what? Iteration, having some time bound. Okay, sprint is nothing but an iteration having some time bound. Like uh, every sprint will have an iteration duration of one to four weeks. Okay, some projects will follow one week duration for the sprint in the Scrum methodology. If a particular project is following Agile Scrum methodology, then in that the work will be done in the form of iterations. Okay, complete work will not be done at a go. Rather, the work, the entire work will be broken down into smaller parts and will be completed one by one. Okay, completed iteration by iteration. This iteration in this Agile Scrum methodology is known as sprint. And this sprint, that is iteration, has some duration, guys. Okay, different projects will follow different durations for this sprint as part of the Agile Scrum methodology. So some projects will follow one week, some projects will follow two weeks duration, some projects will follow three weeks duration, some projects will follow four weeks, okay? The duration, general duration is from one to four weeks, guys, okay? Most of the projects follow two weeks duration. Two weeks means 10 working days, okay? 10 working days. Excluding the weekends, it will be 10 working days. So the sprint has to be completed. The work has to be completed by the uh, development team and testing team in this Agile Scrum methodology projects, okay? Followed projects in that two weeks, okay? The 10 working days, the development team and testing team has to complete the assigned work for that particular sprint. Not the entire work will be assigned to the sprint, only some portion of the work will be assigned to the sprint that can be completed by the team. In the 10 working days, it will be estimated and assigned to the sprint. Okay, so for every, that means in Agile Scrum methodology, the work will be done in multiple sprints, right? After first sprint is completed, some portion of work will be done and next sprint will start where other set of requirements will be developed and tested by the develop agile team okay again after the sprint again another sprint will start the, the work will keep on going in multiple iterations multiple sprints okay till all the things are completed so those are the sprints so for every sprint for every sprint guys okay for every sprint a sprint goal will be set okay so for every sprint a sprint goal will be set so here the question is what is sprint goal to understand the sprint goal, you should understand what are the SDLC models we have under the SDLC model, that is Agile SDLC model. Uh, what are the different methodologies we have under that Scrum methodology? What is meant by sprint? You have to understand. Otherwise, you will not understand what is sprint goal. Okay. So for every sprint in this Agile Scrum methodology followed projects, in a, for every sprint, a sprint goal will be set. A goal will be set. Okay. So, uh, something the team has to achieve by the end of the sprint. Okay. That is nothing but the sprint goal, the objective that the development team and testing team has to achieve by the end of the sprint, that is called a sprint goal. Let me explain more about the sprint goal. So it is a sprint goal is nothing but a high level objective, okay? High level objective or goal that describes the key outcome of each sprint, okay? For every sprint, okay? For every sprint in this Agile Scrum methodology followed projects, a goal will be set that is called as sprint goal which will describe the key outcome of each sprint. What, what will be the outcome of that sprint? Is nothing but a sprint goal, okay? High level objective, okay? That describes the key outcome of each sprint. For every sprint, a separate sprint goal will be there and that, that describes the key outcome of each sprint. So where, uh, where the sprint goal will be created and who will be creating it? Sprint goal is created in the 
meeting known as sprint planning meeting okay in agile scrum projects uh, a sprint planning meeting will be conducted okay in that sprint planning meeting the sprint goal will be created who will create that product owner will create okay created in the sprint planning meeting by the product owner by collaborating with the development team okay he will not individually create it with the help of okay by collaborating the, the main person will be product owner with his guidance and with his collaboration with the development team okay the product owner is going to create sprint goal in this meeting known as sprint planning meeting okay this sprint planning meeting is generally conducted before the sprint starts okay sprint planning meeting is generally conducted in agile scrum methodology followed projects before every sprint it will be conducted guys and uh, in this sprint planning meeting the product owner and the development team the development team here in the agile uh, scrum methodology means uh, development and testing team together okay they are called as development team so product owner and the uh, development and testing team that is development team agile development team okay will collaborate together and the product owner with that discussion and collaboration will create a sprint goal okay in the sprint planning meeting so what is the purpose of uh, creating the sprint goal in the sprint planning meeting by the product owner with the collaboration with the development team what is the purpose why the sprint goal has to be created because with the help of the sprint goal the team okay the team that is working on this uh, project understands the purpose and impact of the work they are doing in every sprint okay there should be some objective right for example if you are studying for some exams there should be some objective right okay you should be good at some subject okay why you are taking exam there should, there, you are you want to be good at some uh, subject or you you are you should be good at some topic of the subject okay that will be your goal right so if without the goal you not be able to achieve the things right so here also sprint goal which is assigned to every sprint helps the team understand the purpose okay why they are working in that particular sprint the team who are working in the sprint should understand the sprint goal gives that set of purpose for the team and and it will impact the work they are doing in every sprint okay it will motivate them to achieve that goal by the end of the sprint okay so it guides the development team development team in agile is nothing but developers and testing team okay guides the entire team of agile on why it is building the current iteration why exactly they are working okay a lot of requirements are given for a particular sprint and why they are working with the requirements what is the end goal what they want to achieve what 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 is the business value they want to uh, incorporate into the application they are building that they have to understand that is mentioned as a high level objective as part of the every sprint a sprint goal will be set which is a high level objective that describes in current iteration what is the business goal or objective that the team is going to achieve by working okay that set of purpose is nothing but the sprint goal guys okay that is what is sprint goal so and while setting this sprint goal who is going to create the sprint goal product owner right with a collaboration with the development team that is developer and tester product owner is going to create the sprint goal in the sprint planning meeting and while creating the product owner and this team will make sure that the sprint goal that is created is adhering to the smart okay smart means each and every letter you have to understand the sprint goal should be specific okay a specific goal should be there it should not be non specific okay what goal you are going to achieve should be specific okay it should be measurable you should be able to measure that okay and uh, attainable achievable okay by the end of the sprint uh, it, this particular goal should be achievable relevant it should be relevant to the context okay it should not be irrelevant time bound it should be completed in the time sprint itself means time bound so it's, it should be time bound okay so sprint goal should satisfy all these uh, measures that is specific measurable attainable relevant time bound and uh, product owner will make sure that uh, every sprint goal is specific measurable attainable relevant and time bound while creating in the sprint planning meeting with the collaboration with the development team that is developers and testers and you already understood the purpose why we have to create sprint goal it will guide the the team on why it is building the current iteration and uh, the team has to work with a set of purpose and uh, they have to know that okay by doing this work uh, we are going to impact the work like this okay this is what we are going to achieve by the end of the sprint they should know that is the reason sprint goal should be created so hope guys you understood what is sprint goal in this session so that's all for this session thank you bye